Hello viewers, I am back again with my favorite subject physics. Today my topic is refraction through a lens. Now we are going to discuss the characteristics and location of image by a convex lens, it means converging lens. When the object is placed at infinity, when I adjust this screen, I will see a sharp, real and inverted and a very small diminished image of the distant object. You can see a small diminished image of this candle flame. It is inverted also. This is the focus of this lens I am using here. It is near about 20 centimeter. For better clarity, same experiment in dark mode. Now the object is at infinity and we are going to obtain its image on screen. Now you can see at this point I am getting the clear image and it is real and inverted and highly diminished to very small candle frame you can see also in the inverted phase. This is the second case when the object is beyond 2f. It means double the focal length 20 plus 20, 40 and it is beyond this distance. Object is at beyond 2f. Then the image I am getting here is I need to adjust again. Here you can see I am getting again a sharp image. It is real, it is inverted and it is slightly diminished. In between f and 2f, this is 20, this is 40. It is in between, lying in between these two. So in between f and 2f, I am getting the image when the object is beyond 2f there. Now this is our second case. When the object is beyond 2f, it means at a far distance. Now I know the image will be obtained in between f and 2f. So here you can see real and inverted image. This is f and this is 2f. It is in between f and 2f. I am getting a sharp image. It is real, inverted and diminished also. When the object is at 2f. So the image is at 2f. Now you can see this is the image of this object which is placed at 2f and image is also forming at 2f. Image is real, image is inverted and it is of the same size. It is of the same size as the object is in front of it. Now this is our third case when the object is at 2f. So image will be obtained at 2f. Now adjusting the distance, you can see here I am getting an image which is sharp. It is real, it is inverted and almost of the same size as the object. Coming to fourth case, the object is in between f and 2f. So we know the image will be obtained beyond 2f. So I need to move the screen like this and you will get an image at this point. It is beyond 2f. We are getting a real and inverted image and you can see it is magnified also. So this is our fourth case when the object is in between f and 2f and we are getting the image which is beyond 2f. When the object is at focus. It means in my case is it 20 centimeter from the lens. Now the image is forming at infinity. You can see it is real, inverted and highly magnified. If the image is real, inverted and highly magnified, it means it is forming at infinity in the case of convex lens. When the object is at focus, we are getting a real and inverted highly magnified image. You can see the image is highly magnified, it is real, it is inverted and highly magnified. When the object is placed at focus, we are getting the image at infinity. Now in the last case, when the object is in between focus and optical center, we will get the image but the, now the image will be virtual and erect and highly magnified but we cannot obtain the image on the screen because it is a virtual image. When the object is in between focus and optical center, you can see we are getting no image because now the nature of the image is virtual and we cannot obtain this image on the screen. Now to sum up all these cases, we need to remember in all the five cases we are getting real and inverted image. When we are starting to place object from infinity, the size of the image is highly diminished then it is diminished, then at 2f it becomes of the same size, then in between f and 2f, uh, when it, it start getting magnified, then magnified and then highly magnified in the last case. But in the last case, with higher magnification, its nature also changes, it becomes virtual and erect and you need to draw this virtual image as dotted. 
I am sure you have understood all the topics covered till now regarding the lens. I will cover concave lens in my next video. Till then, watch my videos, share with your friends. Goodbye. Thank you.